Shalom, Shalom to the nation of Israel. Before I get started, all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rav Kahakwadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that root well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike unto a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David. 144,000 mighty men, peace, blessings, salutations, and to the remnant, men, women, children, shalom, right? So this your brother Shopper, man. So everything is spiritual, so it's crazy how, um, matter of fact, watch this. So yeah, so that was the apostles, and they was going into how they was forced and this and this and that. And so I seen this post today, John Hopkins genetic study shows ninety seven point five of Ju Judaics living in Israel have absolutely no ancient Hebrew DNA. Are therefore not Shemites, it's not Shem, Sem, it's not Sem, it's Shem, S H E M, but anyway, not Sem, Semites, and have no ancient blood ties to the land of Palestine at all, whereas 80% of the Palestinians carry ancient Hebrew DNA and thus are real Shemites because um, Elam. Elam and Ishmael are, are Shemites. The Shemites. They're from the, the line of Shem. Just like Esau is from the line of Shem. The Israelites are the line of Shem. Moab, the Chinese, and um, Ammon, the Japanese, are also Shemites. So, but that's a whole nother thing. So I seen this right here, and I start screenshotting Ashdod, right? Maya returns... Mayor warns of possible war in Iran. 
urges residents to restore phone lines. So let me get this scripture first. Let me get this one. I seen that one and this scripture popped in my head right here. Ashdod, right? Let's go Zachariah. Yeah, this just, hey man, this, we, we, the apostles, the, we say it all the time. The biggest identity theft is taking place right now in front of our eyes, man. Zechariah chapter 9 and verse 6. And a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod, and I will cut off the pride of the Philistines. Eh? A bastard shall dwell in Ashdod. <laughs> Let's keep going, though. So about that thing, right, that um, Apostle Tahar said, DNA tests are not approved in Israel, not without a court order, simply because Israel is afraid that the results of these tests and an an analysis, yeah, that's it, analysis, will undermine the basic Zionist myth of which the Israeli occupy, 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 occupation there you go occupation state was founded namely founded namely is claim was founded namely is claimed that the 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 small ass you know you got to be careful belong to one race according to Jerusalem post conducting dna analysis to discover roots is easy is easy nowadays except for is you know is the, the you know the the it the alleys <laughs> who need court approval despite accessible means israel prohibits such tests fearing they challenge the zionist myth of the ish unity yeah so then so now you get to this one high um john high cranus right john high cranus and this is from the 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 ish encyclopedia the jewish encyclopedia right here right where is it at it's down here it goes here you go right here it goes yeah the strong places of edom and forced the edomites to accept the ish religion and commit to circumcision this is the first instance of forcible conversion in ish history. In this, Hycranus allowed his zeal for the, the ish cause to lead him to take a step which later wrought harm for to the Edomites belonging the family of the Herodians who were to bring about the ruin of Has Hasmonians. Yeah. So, you know, and, and you look at it, you look at it now because of this forced conversion. Now you have you have it now where you have people over there in Ashdod or you have people over there in, in um, claiming to be us. Dang, what was the scripture I just had in my head? Let me get this one. I think it's Lamentations 5 and 2. I know which one it is. Yeah, kind. The um, Lamentation chapter 5 and 2. Uh, remember, O Lord, what is come upon us. Consider and behold our reproach. Our inheritance, the land of um, um, Jerusalem. And not just that. A whole big vast majority. Of, of va it's more land than just the Jerusalem. But our inheritance is turned to strangers. Our houses to aliens. Yeah. Yeah. They was able to do this. This the scripture I wanted to get. And we use this one. But we know this is definitely talking about the churches. The the um the, the churches of Israel in, in that time. But we use it for now because they over there claiming to be us. I know thy works. Revelation 2 and 9. I know thy works. And tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. But are the synagogue of Satan. You see them over there humping the wall, and when they get up in their little 
cubicle, you know, they little um, synagogues or whatever, how they up in there is bugged out, man. Here's another one. This is, yeah, so this is, um, yeah, the Jewish Encyclopedia, right? Yeah, I showed you this one, the Jewish Encyclopedia. This is from Britannica, right? This is, so I want, you, you know, you see Britannica, right? John High Cranus. Woo, 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 woo. I think it's the second one, right? So you see it's still the same thing. Right here at the bottom. And Idumia, Edom, he forced Idumia to convert to Juda Judaism. The first example of co um, conversion imposed by the Jews in their history upon his death, Hycranus was succeeded by his eldest son, Aretobulus, uh, uh, Hycranus, yeah. So, yeah, so this is now you got two spots, right? You got the Jewish Encyclopedia talking about the forced conversion, and then you got the Britannica, Encyclopedia Britannica talking about the forced conversion. So then here is the Oxford Dictionary, right? Here's the Oxford Dictionary. <laughs> the Oxford Dictionary, the forced conversion, the forced conversion of Idumians, Edomites, to Judaism by John Hycranus, 135 to 105 BCE. Yeah, right? Then now you get to that study that they, they you know, this, this dude um, in 2013, John Hopkins' genome study proves the, the small hat interlopers in Palestine, no Shemitic blood whatsoever. Yeah, so this is the guy that did it, a, a small hat. This is a small hat that did it. We noted right away that that he was another of many academics who do not let ideology and politics influence his science research. So they hated him. They hated him. In short, his work showed that as Ganazi, as the Naziak um, small hats have about as much people, have about as much people of the land DNA as some Europeans have ne ne Neanderthal DNA, but Europeans have never referred to themselves as ancient Neanderthals nor laid claim to Africa as an uh, ancient homeland other than the former uh, colonists before conditions drove them to exile. Yeah, they never was claiming to be from that land until they got over there in um in Africa. Now they, they you got white South Africans and all of that, but that's not that's not that's they 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 stay from Mount Seir. Then I had this article right here. I took some screenshots cause like I said I ain't wanna make this too long. Boom, you got um, so I read through all of these different articles and different things, but like I said, I just took some screenshots. The genetics. So this is this one right here, NBC News, right? The genetics suggest many of the founding Ashkenazi women were actually converts from local European populations. The simplest explanation was that it was mainly women who converted and they married with men. And so now they use the mother. They use the mother to determine that they um they they ish. That's what they go by. They go by the mother in the Talmud. Even though it says in the scriptures, in the scriptures it says it's your father that determines the um. Let's get it. Numbers one and eighteen. Numbers chapter one and eighteen. And they assemble all the congregation together. On the first day of the month, Salakia, on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families by the houses of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their pole, by the fathers, man. This is how you determine, 
You know what I'm saying? When they called, when 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 it came time for anything, it was by the fathers, man. It was by the fathers. It was it, the mothers, you know. Look, look. Um, Joshua chapter 4. Look, 4 and 2. Take you 12 men out of the people. Out of every tribe. 4. And Joshua called the 12 men whom had prepared of the children of Israel out of every tribe of man. Yeah, it's about the men. It's about the fathers, man. It's about the father. Look, five. And Joshua said unto them, Pass over before the ark of the Lord your power into the midst of joy, and take ye up every man of you a stone upon his shoulder, according to the number of the tribes of the children of Israel, that this may be a sign among you that when you act, when your children ask their fathers in the time to come, saying, What mean ye by these stones? Yeah, man. It's, it's about your fathers, man. It's about your fathers. And so the apostle quoted this one. But Apostle Gabar, he quoted this one. So all of this DNA and all of that, hey, we don't need the, we don't need that. We don't we don't go by that. First Timothy 6 and 20. Old Timothy. Keeping that which is committed to thy trust. Avoid profane and vain babblings of opposition of science falsely so-called. Yeah, and science don't mean nothing. We go by the spirit, man. We go by the spirit. Let's get that first, John. First John. Four. Let's get that one. B beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit. Whether they are of the most. No, let me see your DNA paperwork. But try the spirit whether they are of the most high. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Yeah, try the spirit, man. It's by the spirit that we rule. We 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 are in this thing. The spirit, man. Yeah, you gotta study to show thyself approved, and every man gotta be persuaded in their own heart. But the spirit, the spirit bear witness. Here you go. Romans 8 and 16. The spirit bear witness. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high. It's our spirit, man. So, the, you know, them. oh, well, we got this DNA and we got this and we got that. And whoop -de -whoop -whoop -whoop. the Lord don't care about that shit. 1 Corinthians 3 and 18, let no man deceive them himself. If any man among you seem to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. Yeah, understanding the scriptures. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the most high. What? For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the most high. For, at, for it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Yeah. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. So now going back to it, you got a small hat. You got a small hat right here. That's coming out saying with their science, with their wide, with the wisdom of, of this world. Telling them that, yo, y'all not the people. And it got them all up in the uproar. See? This guy right here, articles by Aaron e A. Hanik. Yeah. Say, say the, the small hats are race. Genetic theory comes under fierce attack by DNA expert. Huh? <laughs> you can't make this up. You can't make this up. Let's see. Um, In the news, I saw it. I screen, like I said, I screenshotted a, a read and through it. I screenshot, look, the scientists usually don't call each other liars and frauds. Because <laughs> he not he not supporting what they say. In a news article that accompanied El Helax, I don't know, journal paper, Shalom San Professor, history professor in Tel Aviv University and author of controversial book, The Invention of the Jewish People. 
said the study vindicated his long hell ideas. And this is not hate speech, man. They 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 flag. I put this up, man. This lesson up, and I get a strike, man. They'll be telling me this hate speech. It's not no hate, man. It's not. It's not hate. I know hate. <laughs> it's no hate. It's just re. I'm just reading, reading what's out here, man. It's so obvious to me. Sand told the journal, some people, historians, even scientists, turn a blind eye to the truth. Yeah, turn a blind eye to the truth. Wants to say the small hats were a race was anti-Semitic. Now to say they're not a race is anti-Semitic. It's crazy how history plays out. I seen that. I was like, yeah, that's crazy. Like, they could claim to be the people of the Bible, but if we claim to be the people of the Bible, we hate speech. If we read the scriptures and say what the scriptures say, it's hate speech. If they read the same scriptures and say, yo, this is this and this and this and that, it's okay for them to say it. But it's hate for us to say it. <laughs> the paper... The paper has received little coverage in mainstream media. Yeah, I bet. But it has attracted the attention of anti-Zionists and anti-Shem white supremacists. That's how they try to link us up with them, man. Just because we pointing out that the lies that these people are telling. Interestingly, while anti-Zionist bloggers have applauded Elon Enoch's work saying it proves that contempor contemporary small hats have no legitimate claim to Israel. Some white so some white supremacists have attacked it. Yeah. Yeah, I bet. You just want the people that agree with you. Look, look at this one. Allowing scientists access to data only if their research will not defame the small hats is peculiar. Yeah, they only want, they only going to let you look at anything and they only going to co-sign anything you say if you co-sign what they say. That's not how science supposed to work. <laughs> Peculiar said Catherine DeAngelis, who edited the Journal of American Medical Association for a decade. So these is not people that, these not just... Oh, you you niggas on the coin. It's, it's not no. It's these is um scholars and people that's um wise in in the worldly in the stuff that they do. This DNA stuff. This chick here is who edited the Journal of American Medical Association for a decade. <laughs> she edited it. What he does is set himself up to for criticism. Wait a minute. What's this guy's trying to hide? Yeah. Despite what his critics claim, Elok says he was not out to prove. Look, he he was not out to prove that contemporary small hats have no connection to the the ish people of the Bible. His primary research, he wasn't even start. He wasn't even trying to do that. He just it, it just the truth. The truth. Oh, we gotta get that one. We gotta get that one. <laughs> we gotta get that one. Let's get it. We got to get that one. The truth is springing up, man. Luke. 8, 17. Yeah, I was like, man, should I? I was thinking, thinking. I was like, man, I'm going to go for it. <laughs> Luke 8 and 17. For nothing is secret that shall not be hid. Salaki. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest. Neither anything hid. That shall not be known and come abroad. Yeah. And nothing going to stay here forever. I have made Esau bear. Let's get that one. <laughs> I have made Esau bear. Let's get that one. Where are you at? Jeremiah 49. I have made Esau bear. Jeremiah 49 and 10. But I have made Esau bear. I have uncovered his secret places and he shall not be able to hide himself. Yeah, even over there in the, in the land. You're not able to hide yourself, man. I'm going to get, I'm gonna get uh, a couple, a little bit more, a little longer. 
his seed is spoiled, and his brother, and his neighbor, and he is not. Yeah. The truth is springing up, man. You can't do nothing about the truth. You can't do nothing about the truth. What is it? 82 and 11? Or 85 and 11? 85 and 11. 80 Psalms 85 and 11. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. Yeah. It's, and this is. This is just more of it, man. Yeah, it's more of it. Despite his critics, woo, 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 woo. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so, yeah, that's pretty much it right there, man. <laughs> that's it. That's pretty much it. The Lord, the Lord is finished with these people, man. The Lord ain't forget. The Lord ain't forget. Matter of fact, let's get two more scriptures real quick. Let's get two more. The Lord ain't forget. The Lord ain't forget. And he the Lord told us not to forget. 25:17. Deuteronomy 25 and 17. Remember what Amalek did unto unto thee by the way when ye were come forth out of Egypt. Yeah, we just asked, can we come through? Can we walk through? We ain't going, if our cattle drink any water, eat anything, whoop de whoop 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 whoop. Esau like, nah, came out with the sword. Esau like, fuck out of here. You can't come through my land. But it's okay. The Lord didn't forget neither. The Lord didn't forget either. Exodus 17 and 16. The Lord ain't forget neither. Exodus 12, um, let's start at 14. And the Lord said, Thirteen and Joshua discomfited Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. And the Lord said unto Moses, Write this for a memorial in a book, and rehearse it in the ears of Joshua. For I will utterly put out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven. And you see why? You see what Amalek did? You see what Amalek over there doing right now? Sixteen. For he said, because the Lord have sworn that the Lord will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. The Lord did not forget about these people, man. And you see what the, the you know, a, a man's goings is of the Lord. The Lord got Amalek over there doing that. And, and they, they basking in it, man. They basking in it, man. Numbers 24 and 18. And Edom shall be a possession. Seir also shall be a possession for his enemies, and Israel shall do valiantly. Out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion, and shall destroy him that remaineth of the city. And when he looked on Amalek, he took up this parable, parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be that he perish forever. Yeah. And this and this is it, man. And this is it. They over there in 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 our in our land, in, in our inheritance, acting like they us. But you see it right here. They not the people. <laughs> so with that one, man, I'ma close out. All praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rug, Kahakwadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there, scattered abroad, unlike unto a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men. Peace, blessing, salutations, and to the remnant, men, women, children, remain spiritual out there. Wake up, Jacob. Wake up, Jacob. Shalom.